I feel so evil talking like this. But it's just a video game. I gotta keep reminding myself. It's just a video game, Garrett. You don't you don't do this stuff in real life. Hey, what's up? This is Garrett, and we are back with the Burnin' Dollar Signs Challenge. It's been a couple years. This is the first video I'm doing. I made a new channel dedicated to it because people were hitting up my channel and requesting that I go back to making Let's Plays. So here we are. It is currently COVID-19 time. If you're watching this in the future, check the history books. I'm sure it's there. Topically, I decided first game I should play is going to be Plague Inc. I've never played this before. Real quick summary of the Burn and Dollar Signs Challenge. So I have bought through Humble Bundles and Steam Sales a stupid amount of games. And I haven't played, like, seriously hundreds of them. Not a joke. I'm going to make a video. I'll show it to you. It's the introduction video. So check that out. Link in the description. But until then, that's the summary. So basically what I'm doing in the Burnin' Dollar Signs Challenge is I am playing each game for at least an hour. Some of those games, that is excruciating because they're not great, or I just really don't enjoy them. And some of them, after one hour, I'm like, holy crap, I'm going to keep playing this game. But then I remember I need to get back to making videos. So here we are, Plague Inc. We've got a welcome fake news update. That's... Cute. All right, so single player. And let's see. I guess we want to do the main game. Can I protect the world? No, can I infect the world? Oh, I'm the bad guy. Okay. Shadow Plague. That looks like a vampire. Let's see. All right, so I get to pick. Oh, there's a bunch of these that are locked. Oh, here we go. Okay. Powerful. Th okay, so that's a vampire one. We've got the simian flu. Increases ape intelligence. Okay, so it's a uh, planet of the apes. Bacteria. Virus is locked. Fungus is locked. Worm parasite. Prion? Prion? When the game... I don't know what a prion is. Nano... Nanovirus. That's cool. How do I unlock that one? Win the game with the Necroavirus. Okay, so you basically... You basically have to work down here. So let's do that, because... That's what we should do. Bacteria, most common. Alright, so let's hit continue. And... We're going to modify the genetic code. All of these are locked. Okay. I don't know what that is, so let's just keep going. Select a game difficulty. Well, we want normal. Brutal. Mega brutal. Okay, we want normal. PAX 12. Yeah, that's fine. Welcome to Plague Inc. You are a new bacteria. To win, you must evolve and spread across the world, wiping out all humans in the ultimate plague. Select a start location. Let's see. Select a country to begin your plague. When you click on it, you can see more information. Pop the start bubble to confirm. Start bubble? All right. I don't know. I mean... China's where the current virus that we're dealing with started in the real world. That does look like a bubble. But this is a bacteria, so... Let's just start it in the USA, because I'm from the USA, and it's fine. All right. PAX-12 begins in the USA. Has infected its first human? Weak and unspecialized. It must evolve using DNA points to infect more people. I guess it's not going to give me tutorial stuff? I don't know what's going on. Uh, 
Okay, here we go. Let's see. One infected. Still only one. Alright. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Maybe I should have watched the tutorial first. Oh. Okay, so we get these DNA points and then we spend them on things, right? Okay. Oh, okay, so we can start evolving this already. Let's see. Chance of infection spreading pathogen to surroundings. Heck yes, we want that. Tip, pop orange DNA bubbles to get DNA points. Pop orange when you randomly appear to get bonus DNA points, which you can use to evolve your disease. Okay. Oh, okay, so that's a little bit more active. So I guess a lot of this is just watching. All right, we've got six now. Let's see what else we can buy. So I have, I don't know, this is, you know, obviously first time I'm playing this. But I have some theories. I don't want to spread... Or I don't want to buy things that are visible or really noticeable. Like the lung one, coughing, that's kind of noticeable. But like, nausea is a really com. I mean, the, the only really reason you get nausea is because you're sick. Uh, a rash makes it visible. I don't. These things seem like things... I mean, I know it says slightly increasing infectivity, but I kind of want to keep it low visibility... I guess is the right phrase because I feel like that's ooh disgusting. I feel like that's really what is going to help the spread. You know what I mean? Like it's when you see someone with physical you know like pustules and gross stuff like that, you know like you look at them and you're like, "Wow, that person's got leprosy." And you just avoid them. So I'm afraid of the symptoms because you know it just seems like we want to I feel evil. This is interesting. <laughs> We're making a disease to kill the world. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. It's just a video game, Garrett. It's just a video game. Nintendo to pixelate Toad in future. Oh, hey. It's the news. So I want to save up my points because I want to pick up some of the... Um, some of the transmissions. Oh, here we go. We've got some now. What is this? Gives organism spread through blood. Livestock. Sorry, animals. You're cute, but I need this to win. We've got eight infected. That's it. Zero dead. Oh, that's just in the USA. I mean, it doesn't really look like we have any infected anywhere else. I'm assuming a, a red dot would appear in the country where it happens. Well, here's the dates. All right, we've 
got 10. We can see what else we can get. Dust particles. Water. All right, let's do mosquitoes. I live in Florida and I hate mosquitoes. Just a heads up. Terrible. They are painful. Ooh, here we go. Medicine in USA slowing infection. What? All right, drug resistance. That's what we need. Let's see. What is drug resistance? Abilities. All right, so we need to save up 11 DNA points. That was a nice tip. I, You know, I would have figured it out eventually. So we're just saving up right now. We got some interesting news here. Compromise voted most insulting word ever. Yeah, this is pretty politically aware. Here we go. PAX 12 begins to spread. PAX 12 is spreading from person to person in USA and will grow exponentially. You control the plague indirectly by evolving it. Okay, cool. So I guess it is giving me some tips. That's nice. I like games that like kind of work you in with the tips because like I hate when you start a game and you, you start playing and you get like a tutorial. PAX 12 has mutated and developed the insomnia symptom without having DNA points. That's pretty cool. Um, anyway, I hate, uh, when you have to, like, sit through a separate tutorial, it just seems like I really enjoy games that work you into the game as you're playing it. So you start playing the game and it just starts popping up tips, and but, but it's the actual game that you're playing. It's not some tutorial that you have to sit through. All right, so we got some, here we gotta do this, I'm gonna evolve that. Um, because of the USA being good at this, according to this game, I really want to push this. So let's keep working on that. Man runs with scissors. 12 hospitalized. Weird Al had an album called Running With Scissors. It was a good album. I wonder what he's up to these days. This is a sweet soundtrack. I wonder if I have this one. Terry Pratchett voted best author ever. Oh, I've actually never read any Terry Pratchett, but I respect Terry Pratchett's work. Tip, country information. Find out more about a country. Click the country name at the bottom of the screen to open the country menu. That's all right for now. All right. Hundreds. Keep evolving your disease. All right, we're at seven points. I need to get back up into the double ditch, double digits. Oh, actually, I can buy this one right now. Create bacterial shell to protect against all climates. Sure, why not? Let's grab that real quick. It doesn't look like we've spread around the con or around the world yet, though. We're still stuck in the USA. Stuck in the USA. Porg's not cool, says Ewok. You know what? That's probably accurate. How do you feel about the new Star Wars movies? We just finished the Skywalker trilogy, the new Skywalker trilogy, um, last year, as of recording this. So, what do you what do you think about that? How did you feel? I didn't like the first two, but the third one wrapped everything up. I thought pretty well. Rash symptom mutated. Rash symptom without use. See, I don't even need to buy some things because it just does it on its own. That's nice. Looks like we can speed it up. Thousands, hell yeah. Look at that, we're at almost 6,000.
10,000. Whoa, it is growing quickly. Look at that. That is growing so fast. Oh, also because I sped things up. That makes sense. But still. I imagine when it's in multiple countries, we'll get a lot more of those orange things to pop to keep spreading. Should I like super speed it up? Saudi Arabia. Cool. No, come back. Okay. All right. I got to slow this down a little bit. It's moving too fast for me. Oh, here we go. Whoa, we got 18 points now. All right. What do we want? Let's grab that. Still got nine points. What else can we pick up? <laughs> All right, so paranoia, irrational delusions and mental symptoms. Victims' distrust of others makes them unlikely to seek treatment or cooperate with others. Sounds like your crazy uncle or grandpa on Facebook, right? Let's grab that one. I like that. That's funny. Cracks me up. All right. Look at that. America is blowing up. Millions infected. Mexico, not very many, but a few. TB, tuberculosis. It is a very infectious disease. What's going on? That's Pakistan, India, we've got quite a few. Saudi, we've got 30, 31. Whoa, popping up everywhere. This is cool. I'm sorry, Japan. But I have to do this to win. Now PAX 12 is around the world. Use the world data menu to see which countries are not infected yet. All right, let's spend some points. I want to work on transmission. What else can we do? We already bought mosquitoes. Let's do water. I definitely want to do air next. We need 12 points. We've got five. Let's work on that. Then we need to work on resilience because I am afraid things will get worse. I mean, worse for us, better for the world. More infectious than HIV. We're, we're killing it, literally. No, wait, actually. Okay, so it's not killing people. We have zero dead, but we have a ton of people infected. Seizures. Well, that's scary. Seizures kind of scare the crap out of me. I mean, not... Like, I mean, like, I'm scared of having seizures, not like people having seizures scares me. I mean, that scares me too, but more out of a concern for their health and safety. But it's just a thing I don't want to, I don't ever want to develop seizures, you know. All right, so it's becoming scary. The more scary it becomes by hurting and killing people, the harder humans will try to cure it. Remember this one involving your disease. Okay, so we just got a ton of points. So let's work on defenses here. That costs 28 DNA points. Wow. Let's do it. Let's spend them all right now. Let's get that.
Oh, we've got a death. Oh, wow, we've got 130 in the world. First death in USA, bad luck, or the beginning of something terrible. Here we go. Things are growing. USA starts to work on cure. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. It's going to be great. Ugh, the sound is a little gross. I mean, it's supposed to be, but... Look at that. We are dying by the hundreds of thousands. Well, tens of thousands at a time, I guess. Canadians celebrate the anniversary of the famous Hay Herbert Treaty, which saw Alaska become a part of Canada Americans' outrage. Dude, that is totally something that would upset Americans. So fragile. Let's see. What else can we buy here? That means 26, that means 21. Let's hit some cold. I don't think we have much for cold, so we want to do that. I want to evolve that. See, look at that spread. A lot of people are dying now, but I was thinking one of my theories is that when people start to die, they up the, um, what do you call it, the, uh, the research and stuff trying to stop it. So I was trying to keep deaths down and infectivity up. But I don't know, just a theory, and obviously I don't really know what I'm doing here. So hot temperatures, what is this? Bacterial shall thicken, survivability in all climates. Let's grab that. These are going to cost 18 and 28. All right, let's keep going. USA shuts down land borders. All right. That sucks. It's going to hurt spread. Especially when other countries start doing it too. All right, we've got 42. Let's spend 28 to 18. Lower water volume prevents freezing. Let's work on transmission, actually. We really need to transmit. Birds! Birds is a good one because they fly across borders when people can't. And dust particles. All right, so let's grab birds. Let's grab dust particles. Still got 14. What else is there? Gives organisms spread through blood to blood. I've already got water. That needs 20. Ah, sure. Let's grab it. All right. New rules for transport slash hygiene of farm animals makes rural areas less vulnerable. Okay. Whoa. More infectious than the common cold. Sometimes these are popping up so quickly that I can't keep up. We're back to 47. That's a lot. Let's keep working on this. I don't really feel a need to invest in this now. Well, I mean, that's fine. Let's grab some rats. Common flea. Oh, man. Fleas are awful. We just adopted this cat. His name's Al Gore. He had really bad fleas. And dude must have been miserable. And luckily we got rid of them. So that was good. He's a sweetheart, but he was not in a good position health-wise. Um, unfortunately, his previous owner passed away. And so we took him in. And he seems to be doing much better now. So let's see. What else have we got? We've got 31 DNA points. I want to keep spreading birds because they fly. 
and that to me seems like it's going to keep the spread. A lot of birds migrate, so I'm thinking, here we go, placed on watch list. Could become unstoppable, that's the goal. We have 1% of the world, whoa, 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 whoa. What is going on here? We just, we are doing very well. Let's keep working with rats. I want to keep the animals going because my theory is, you know, like the people, when we stop allowing people to move, but animals, you can't tell them about borders. They don't care about borders. All right, I think that's enough for this. All right, so what is this one in the middle? We can afford it. Extreme zoonosis. Infection crosses multiple species barriers. Increases infectivity, especially in rural and urban areas. We needed rural because they cut the animal livestock thing. And cross-country transmission, also extremely important. Infectivity is getting really big. Severity is staying down. Lethality, we're keeping real low. Oh, excuse me. Drinking coffee over here. Okay. Um, so my thoughts are, this is good. We've got lethality is down. So, you know, the scientists and medical researchers, it's not a huge priority if a bunch of people get sick, but don't, you know, die. It just doesn't, it doesn't become a priority really, until people start dying. Same with severity. I'm not really, you know, if we keep that down, you know, people, everybody's sick, but like nobody's really feeling bad and nobody's dying. So it, it just seems to me like that's, that's kind of how we want to do it. And then all of a sudden we want to just like kaboom lethality, you know, like just start chucking points into lethality because we want everybody to start dying. I feel so evil talking like this. But it's just a video game. I gotta keep reminding myself. It's just a video game, Garrett. You don't you don't do this stuff in real life. Pneumonia, that's rough. I'm kinda scared of pneumonia too. I know people who have died from pneumonia and just anything lungs, you know, I feel like I've done a pretty decent job keeping my lungs somewhat clean, but Wow, look at this. This is really France leading global cure effort. Research team hoping to speed development. Pop blue bubbles to destroy their research. All right, so hold on. Here's the thing. Oh, that's the cure. That's not the infection. I should have. All right, so we've got almost 5 million dead, but we've got 5 billion. We've got. We've got way more sick than healthy. This is good. Let's work on abilities. Then, I'm sorry, but we need to start killing people. DNA strand symbol. That sounds pretty cool. Let's do that. really want to make it difficult to find a cure right now because it's getting super serious. Sweating symptom, not bad. Let's see, blue cure appear when a research team from France finds something, pop them to destroy the research and stop the cure speeding up. Oh, I got an achievement. Fight the cure! There are two ways to fight development of the cure. Evolve aggressive symptoms to destroy countries. Or evolve cure resistance. That's what I've been working on. Okay, cool. So check this out. We've got more resistances. Let's work on that. Can't afford that. Let's grab the cold. Because it seems to me, if you look up here... Well, actually... Oh, whoa! Greenland still has nobody. They have no airport.
freaking Greenland. What the heck? Freaking Greenland. I don't know, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I know, I stopped talking and it stopped moving. It didn't freeze. You can still hear the music. I'm just thinking. What? What can we do to get Greenland? I mean, the ports are still open. Let's see. We've Let's look at transmission here. I don't know. I don't know. We've got almost the entire world. All right, let's just keep watching. Let's see what comes next. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Get infected. Yes! All right, I am less concerned now. I don't know what pulmonary fibrosis is. What is pulmonary fibrosis? Scarring of the lungs causes shortness of breath and extreme coughing. Hmm. Catastrophic cell death. Let's go. Oh wow, that jumps the lethality up big time. Let's see what, uh, let's check the world. So we've got almost, we've got 98% of the world infected. Every continent. I think, I think we can start killing people. I mean, we've been killing people, but you, you know, like. What do we need? Okay, so when I highlight something, if you look here, like you highlight this one, you can see there's like the solid purple and then like the translucent here. So the solid is where we're at now. The translucent is what it will change to if you buy that thing. So I'm looking to see, I mean, we've only got 21 points and I know if I just be patient and wait like two seconds, We'll have a bunch more, but I want to speed this up a little bit. So I'm looking at what can I afford It's going to have the most impact. I think this. Right here. Let's grab that. I think we're going to win. All around the world are completely focused. Well, yeah, we've got, like, the entire world almost infected. Freaking Greenland up here. Killed more than Black Death. New statistics show PAX-12 has killed over 75 million people worldwide worse than the Black Death. Put on your plague masks. Don't even worry, it won't do anything. 25% complete. Crap. All right, we need to get 34 points ASAP. Pulmonary edema symptom without using DNA points. What is that one? All right, where's our lethality, severity, infectivity? All right, we need points ASAP so that we can Spanish flu, huh. There are no healthy people left in the world. We have hit 100% infection. This is fantastic. We should celebrate, have a drink. I'm going to take a sip of coffee. 
losing points, though. I mean, not losing points, but just not developing points. Aw, oh, man. Well, wait a minute. So, here's a question. I don't need to worry about transmission now. We've got 100% of the people. So can I just, like... I can just grab points? I mean, it's not giving me very many, but... I just feel like I don't need any of these now. Whoops. What did I just do? Oh shit, I accidentally bought it and I used up all these points. Dang it, that was dumb. Should have been paying attention to what I was clicking. That just ruined it for me, I bet. I want to keep symptoms going. I just don't think... See, that really just ruined it, clicking the wrong button. Clicking the wrong button killed it for me. I would have won in like two minutes had I not clicked the wrong button. Oh, such is life. Memo to self. Don't get hasty. Ah, oh, crap. People are getting better. Or people are dying. I'm not sure. I mean, both, but... Nice. I'm afraid this is going to cure, like, right at the end. Like, we're going to be super close. And they're going to find a cure, and everybody's going to get better. Oh, that's interesting. So Finland is not cooperating. China begins to break down. Cure research is starting to slow. That's good. I need that. All right, cool. So here we go. We can now evolve that. Increasing the work needed to develop a cure. Infectivity is way down. But I guess I kind of did that on purpose. Maybe I shouldn't have. I don't know. I don't know. It seems like a lot of people are dying very quickly. And I'm getting a ton of points again. Here we go. All right, so we are really strong as far as survivability. And people be dying. Look at that. China and anarchy. No cure research can take place in China. Still working in other countries. Look, this port is still open. Hold on. USA still has the port open. And so does freaking Southeast Asia. Everybody else is like, nope. But of course, the United States. We gotta keep our, our economy going. Doesn't matter if people die. Alright, let's go back. We need to keep killing people. Coma. Neuropathic effects of the brainstem cause loss of consciousness and sometimes death. Um, let's see. I want to get one that gives us a bigger bang for our buck. Okay, so right now, this is the biggest one that gives us the most bang for our buck. 
Well, actually, I mean, I guess I could do the math to figure out 25 points and 13 points. Maybe they're the same. I don't know. Skin lesions. Gross. Potentially lethal dehydration. Inflammation. Let's grab that. Hypoxia. All right, I think we're about to win this. I think we're like super close. There is nothing they can do to stop this now. Grab that. Ooh, this one's big. Necrosis. Ooh. How many do we need for that? 35 DNA points. And that's a big jump in lethality. Ninety-three percent cure progress, but almost everybody's dead. Nobody researching a cure when everybody is dead. Look at that. We're down to less than the Georgia Guidestones record. Oh, no, never mind. That's 500,000. We've still got millions of people. Oh, no, that's infected. Yeah, alive. Alive and infected. Walking dead symptom combo. Insomnia and anemia are causing people to walk around gray tiredness. Scientists working on the cure are less productive. Interesting. This is it. We're good. Look at that. Watch, it's going to find a cure when there's like five people left. And it's going to start growing. Germany shuts down the internet. There's just not enough people using it. Everybody's dead. We're down under 10 million. This is good. We're getting there. UK's government has fallen. I mean, how do you rebuild from this? This is beyond post-apocalyptic. This is post-post-apocalyptic. Under, under 5 million, we're almost down. We're under 2 million people left on this planet. Governments are shutting down or falling. Less than a million. It's destroying humanity. Pax-12 has destroyed the world despite the world's best efforts. The last few humans know they are watching the end of history. We're almost down below. We're down below the Georgia Guidestones recommendation. It's not bouncing back, dude. We're done. This is it. We won. Under 100,000. Under 50. Under 20. Under 10,000. Under 5,000. Everybody's dead! We just won. Pax-12 has successfully, successfully, successfully eliminated all life on Earth. That's it. That's it. We won. Total score, 60-30. This was a fun game. I really enjoyed this. 892 days. Not bad. Not bad. Now what? I guess you can rewatch the whole thing. That seems like it's going to take too long. I don't want to retry because I want to try a different one. New plague and gene discovered. Single player. ATP boost gene type and virus plague have been discovered and unlocked. Play the board game now. So, official scenarios. Experiment with real life diseases and altered worlds. That seems interesting. What have we got? Fake news. Ultimate board games? It has nothing to do with disease. Investors have given you two years to design, produce, and distribute your very own game. So that's like capitalism. The disease. Oh, cool. There's a whole bunch here. So there's a ton of stuff to unlock here. I love when games give you stuff to unlock. 
We could play the Black Death. Mad Cow. Science Denial. People no longer believe in science. Popular opinion has shifted against objective truth and towards alternative facts. But when a terrifying new plague is unleashed, ginkgo tree extract, healing crystals, and snake oil can only do so much. Can the exiled experts save the world? This is fantastic. Let's check this out. New plague discovered. Single player. The following new plague type has been discovered. A virus. Okay, so I've already done that. Let's do virus. Rapidly mutating pathogen, which is extremely hard to control. Following new gene type. What is that? Get bonus DNA at the beginning. Yeah, duh. Give me all the help I can get. And we're going to play on normal again. Cheats. There's cheats. Oh, you have to unlock them. That's still pretty cool. Continue. Pax 12? All right, no. Nympho throbbing. That sounds dirty. Let's do it. Welcome to the science denial scenario. Trust in science has eroded worldwide. Flat Earth theories, climate change denial, and anti-vaccine campaigns are taking the world by storm. This is so topical. Choose a starting country. Global research budgets have been slashed, but not everyone has given up on science. Hunt down humanity's brightest minds before they can stop you. Okay. So this is funny. I'm going to pick... What country would have people who really actually... Begins in Finland. No, I didn't select that. Did I? Oh, well, I guess I selected Finland on accident. Double-clicked it, probably. Nymphothrobbing is a virus. This means that it randomly mutates rapidly and can be hard to control. It costs DNA points to devolve. Okay, so that's interesting. Let's just keep building up points. Yes, I'm aware. Thank you. All right, so we've got 10 points. means we can start buying stuff. Um... Increasing... Oh, so it's a little bit different of a board here. It's actually much more... Simplified? Oh no, it just hasn't opened them yet. Information DNA becomes more unstable, increasing random mutations. I like that. Alright, so I want to do lungs again. All right, let's keep this rolling. Dislike for experts on the rise. There are rumors that the world's rejected scientists are looking to set up a new super science safe haven, but where will they end up? Now that I'm thinking about it, it would have made sense to start in the United States, probably, because I believe that the United States is where most science denial is. Could be wrong on that. Flat Earth proved. People notice that the world map in a popular video game, hmm, is flat. This is taken as conclusive proof of Flat Earth theory. Endemic offers no comment. All right, so we've got some more. We can keep this spread. I'm going to try something a little bit different. I don't know. I'm just going to click things. That's how we play this game, right? Beginning to spread. Just 
just feel like I should buy each of these in the beginning. We can just start working on resistances, I think. That's my biggest concern. Points are slowing down. Cleaner air declared surplus to requirements. Let's see what we can do for transmission. Super science utopia in Japan. Okay. Moving against popular global opinion, Japan has invited scientists from around the world to come and work at fully funded super science cities. All right. I like that. I like Japan. Never been there. Pneumonia symptoms. Awesome. Did you hear that? Can you hear that? That's my cat. He is howling. Not Al Gore, the one I was talking about earlier. Music legend marries film star. Ah. Funny how that happens. Mosquitoes. We're going to keep growing this disease. Script approved for episode 7, Taking the Mickey. I don't... I don't know what that means. Mickey, taking the Mickey like the drug? Hemophilia symptom mutated. Nympho, nympho throbbing. What a name. Nympho throbbing. Yep, I don't need any of this tip. Egypt in danger of wasting a infected hundreds generation. What else can we do? All right, we keep saving. Gamers worldwide begin worshiping Helix Fossil. Ha! <laughs> That's a Pokemon reference there. Rash symptoms. All right, let's spread this. Speed this up a little bit. It's taking too long. I need more points to spend. Spreads to Russia. Infects thousands. Internal hemorrhaging. Becoming scary. Come on, let's get out of Russia. Let's keep going. We gotta keep growing here. Vomiting. Gross. All right. Affecting more countries. Getting DNA points. Oh, whoa, we're growing. Whoa, it's killing very fast. People are dying faster than being infected. That's a problem. Let's work on infectivity. If people are dying faster than it's spreading, then it's not going to spread because it's just going to die. Everybody's just going to die. The people that have it, I mean. Hemorrhagic, hemorrhagic shock. World menu can... Yeah, I know. More infectious than TB. Projectile vomiting. Coughing and vomiting are causing the infected to projectile vomit. Gross. All right, let's spend some points. I want to do air. I want to do blood. 15 points for water. 
Korea shuts down borders. Paranoia. I mean, we kind of had paranoia. This is the science denial campaign. Killed more than the Black Death. This is getting pretty bad. Look at this grow. Lots of people dying. Diarrhea. Oh, whoa, we've got 90 points. <laughs> Whoops. Extreme bioaerosol. Pathogen bypasses air water filters due to adaptive cellular shell. Increase infectivity, especially in humid and arid climates and plane ship transmission. Heck yeah. We've still got 15 points. There's still some countries that don't have it. UK votes for Brexit. Voters in the UK vote to leave the EU. Remainers are concerned that this could severely damage the UK, but leavers claim it will all be fine. Unclear when Brexit will actually happen. All right, we just hit Canada. Nymphothrobbing has mutated and developed with abscesses. Ouch. Shoot. Genome fully sequenced. Well, we've got a ton of points. All right, so spent a ton of points to really hurt the research. Let's see what happens now. Cuba. Inflammation. Wow, this is actually moving pretty quickly. I don't know if I even need to invest more points in that. It seems like they're not finding a cure. A lot of Africa doesn't seem to have. But that's all right, because it's the same continent. Doctors in Super Science Japan are making significant pro... Wait, the city is named Super Science? Significant progress towards curing nymphothrobbing. Kill them off quickly. Japan looks like it's almost dead. We've got a ton of points here. I don't know what to do next. Sweating symptom. Grab that. What is oh, what is this? Environmental hardening. Highly weather resistant. Extremely comfortable in all climates. Shoot. They are working hard on that cure. These dang super scientists. Alternative medicines distributed. People are placing their hopes on alternative medicines such as ginkgo tree, extract, healing crystals, and snake oil. Use the distraction to spread unhindered. I mean, most people are 
dead, right? What is this one? This one is 44 DNA points. We are almost to that point. I want to buy that as soon as we get it, which we are there. Boom. All right, so we have bought all of the abilities. We could work more on transmission. I don't know if that's even necessary. Our infectivity looks like it's almost maxed. So what we really want to spend on is symptoms and kill everybody. There are no healthy people left in the world. So it turns out that it's really easy to beat this game when people don't believe in science. Funny how that works. I'm going to buy some of these. So close. We're almost done. Sneezing. People weren't sneezing yet. Everybody's almost dead, but nobody's sneezing. Until now. So close. Have we killed all of Japan? Nope. Mexico still has an airport open, but no other continent or country does, so. That airport is not making any money. Unless there are, like, refugees in there buying food, but I doubt it. We're down below 10 million people infected and alive. Oh, this is it. This is it. We've won. There's no coming back from this. Look at how quickly it's moving. All right. It is to destroy humanity. Nympho throbbing. I'm going to have to mark this video as mature audience only just because of the name of the disease. And I didn't even pick the disease. It was randomly generated. All right, we destroyed super science. And the rest of the world completely stops believing in quarantine. Gosh, this is relevant. And that's it. We have won. Nymphothrobbing has successfully eliminated all life on Earth. Genetic complexity complex, 661 days, 66%. Plague type virus difficulty normal, 33,000 total score. That's so hilarious. All right, so we've beaten science denial. Do we have to beat it three times or on three different difficulties? I'm assuming that's on three different difficulties, because when you pick a difficulty... Casual probably wouldn't give you anything. Brutal. And then Mega Brutal. So I think we have actually finished the Burn and Dollar Signs challenge for this particular game. Pretty sure I've played over an hour. If not, I'm going to count it anyway because we've gone through and beaten two scenarios. So I think I've gotten a pretty good idea of this game. I'm going to give this game a replay. I'm going to play this some more. I don't know if I will make Let's Plays of it or not. Because, you know, I have hundreds of games to get through in the Burn and Dollar Signs Challenge. But I can see myself sitting down and playing this game more in the future. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Hey, uh, if you're interested 
I have a free online course. It's a email course. You get like one lesson per day for, I think it's, well, if, there's three parts. If you need all three parts, let me get to, all right, let me back up. <laughs> all right. I got to work on my pitch a little bit. I have a, a course called Gaming for Fun and Profit. And basically the the nutshell of it is, is that I have worked in internet marketing for over a decade and I have made quite a bit of money making YouTube videos just like the one you just watched. And so I put together a free course. It's at gamingforfunandprofit.com. I'll put a link somewhere around this right now in the description, et cetera, et cetera. You can go sign up for it. It's an email course. There's three se sections. And um, when you get the first email, it actually lets you choose which section you want to go to. So if um, with short descriptions. So if the first section sounds like something you already know, then you can skip that and go to the second section. And each section has a topic. The first one is basically getting started with streaming and or YouTube videos. If you've never done that before, you'll need that one that talks about the software you need and stuff like that. The second one is about growing your audience, getting more people to watch your videos and streams. And then the third section is about uh, monetizing that, making money. I might have that backwards. It's been a long time <laughs> since I looked at that. That's weird. I can't believe I have. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Point is, sections two and three are the, they're the best ones for people who have already been doing this for a while. I know so many people, a lot of my viewers actually have already been making videos. Um, but if you want to know how to grow your audience and also make some money with your videos like I have, then you're going to want sections two and three. So check that out, gamingforfunandprofit.com. It's free. No reason not to sign up. Check it out. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe on this video because that is important. If you've ever watched a YouTube video or anybody else on YouTube, you know we always say please like and subscribe. So please like and subscribe. I will see you in the next video.